I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we have an HP laptop. This is an HP Pavilion 15-AB113. That information can be found on the bottom of the case under, under the battery, or when you power on the laptop, you can press F10, and you will go to the BIOS menu. Inside the BIOS menu, it will tell you the, the keyboard is not working well in here, but it will show you somewhere over here. It will has to give you, I give you the product number, which you look on the website, it will tell you the exact model. All right. And this laptop, it does have an eight gig of uh, RAM. I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can access those eight gig and what are the capacities that you can add into it. Just remember by upgrading the RAM or removing the RAM, you're not gonna change anything in the system. Everything is gonna be left the way that you had it before. So it's pretty much um, plug and play. All right, first thing first, you wanna power it off, flip it upside down. And down here, we're gonna see first uh, battery on the back. There are two triggers. We're gonna put it on lock position and hold, push it and lift up the battery and pull it back. The model that I was mentioning is on the top right. It says HP Pavilion 15 dash AB 130. Yours might have a two letters at the end, LA for Latin America, US for US, CA for Canada. So the last two digits are for the country. All right, first we're gonna grab ourselves a screwdriver set. We're gonna grab the iFix screwdriver set from this tool set. We'll be using a Phillips number one. And you will need a really sharp tweezers like this one because there's a hidden screws in here. I don't know why they only like hitting two of them and they don't hide any of them. Under this plastic covers in here, you can put it underneath, even just fly. And there's a lot of adhesive to it, and it will just release the screw hidden underneath. So put it, pull it, and put it to one side. You don't even you don't put it, nothing's gonna happen. It pretty much looks the same. So I guess they like hiding it. So first thing first, we're gonna remove these two screws at the back, plastic black covers in here. These screws are a little longer than the rest, so you just remove the screws and keep them in single pile. You don't want to mix them with the rest. Next, you want to grab these covers, lift it up, and put it beside the screws. Sometimes with a little force, because there's a hidden screw under it too. Now we got the screws on the front, the mid, the side, even the one in the back, under the battery, there are two of them in here, here too. So we're going to start from one corner, and we're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about Miss mix matching it. Go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate that. I removed all the screws, a whole bunch of them. Just double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Now what you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the DVD drive and pull it out. It will slide out simply because this is the screw for the DVD drive. Put it to one side. There's a two hidden screws underneath. And these are a Phillips number zero. So I remove these two screws. Somebody dropped this laptop and they have broken up the plastic in here. So I can see this one, it is kind of broken here. So this cover, it is kind of broken and there's a little dent right in here. So it's just a cover, nothing's gonna happen. So here you go. It's also broken through here too. A little fracture, so it might break up completely. But it's not a big deal. Anyway, to open it up, you need an opening tool. I'll be using a metallic guitar pick, but if you want, you can buy yourself an opening tool just like this. But I really don't like this one. So I'd rather have the guitar picks. Are much softer edges and last longer. All right. So what you want to do in here, you want to open up the laptop a little bit in here, and you want to stick the opening to in this case the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And what you want to do, you just want to rotate, and you want to hear those big click sounds. You want to work yourself all around, pretty much sticking about one or two millimeter of the guitar pick and moving those big huge click sounds. That's what you want to hear all around. Those are the clips are getting loose. You want to work yourself on the side, in the corner, all the way to the back corner, right there. Do the left and the right side. This side is already loosened up. There we go. 
once you need the front and the side you want to grab from the front corner bring it up a little bit and scoop it towards the back in 45 degree angle because we want to remove you want to yank on those cables so lift up a little bit and it comes out so there we go and the one i was talking about is broken is right in here And right away here, we can see the rams are in here. The, you do get two slot ram dims available in here. And one in here, one in here. All right. To remove the ram, all you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of this trigger. There's a, two here. They're a little flexible. And once you pull them away from each other, the ram will pop out in 45 degree angle. Just like that. What you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle. You want to slide it out in the same 45 degree angle. Just like that. These are DDR3 RAM. These are three DDR3L. That means they are low voltage. You can grab a, this is an 8 gig. You can grab another 8 gig to put it in here. So you have a 16 gig. For this processor, 16 gig, it's perfect limit for it. Once you get the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM in here, this notch, let me see if it focus, matches the notch right on the dim. There's a right in here and one right there. So if I try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through because the notch is landing here and the cut is right there. So I have to flip it away. It doesn't matter if your RAM has double-sided chip or single-sided chip. It doesn't matter as long as the notch matches. You want to bring it down in 45-degree angle. And then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and it's going to open and close simply. If the clips stay open, that means you haven't placed in all the way inside the connector. So it makes a nice soft click. If you want to press on the other one, make sure the notch matches. Bring it down in 45. Make sure in 45 clicks in. Sometimes they do click in, sometimes they don't. But as long as then you push towards the motherboard, you get this nice soft click sounds and the triggers stay uh, closed straight. So you can do it like this or like that. Here, I have another RAM in here. So you can bring it like that, put it in, and lock it down. All right, so this is how you can add, remove the RAM. I would recommend you put an 8 gig and an 8 gig. That way you have a dual channel memory, which is much, much faster than having a single big capacity RAM. All right, once, let's say once you upgrade this one, what you want to do, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle up backward and then you want to scoop it back you want to bring it underneath and scoop it so it's scooped in under the cable and then what you want to do you want to just bring it down and push the corner make sure you hear those nice click sound those triggers and it has to click in there we go I'm pressing the front, the sides, you hear nice big click sounds. And put the two screws under the DVD drive and then slide in the DVD drive. Now, before you put the cover on, you can power it on on its side. Before you put the cover, open the laptop and power it on and see if it gives any um, image after 15 seconds because it has to do a mem check. But after 15 or 30 seconds, you still don't get anything on the screen. You want to shut it off and switch the RAM plates. I put the old one on the second dim, the new one on the first dim, and then power it on. Because sometimes the motherboard don't go to the mem check mode and for some reason to force it. You just want to switch the RAM places. So that way it will detect that the main RAM was changed and it will go right away to the mem check mode. Right. Once we have this one in place, what you want to do, you want to put all the screws that we remove on the bottom cover. I'm going to fast forward this part. Once you're done putting the bottom ones, you want to grab these triggers at the back, slide them in. Just make sure it clicks in, it has to nicely click in. Bring it from the back, it slides towards the front, and make sure it nicely clicks in. And put the last two screws and then put the battery right over. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out to do your own upgrade for your RAM for your HP Pavilion 15 AB series model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can.
As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.